Welcome everybody to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy. I just want to give a huge shout out to Fiberglass Supply for putting this video demonstration on for us. Matt is going over to this back of this transom perimeter with masking tape. This allows for any glue or resin or whatever you're putting on using um, to end up on the tape so you're able to peel it off. So when you're done, you're not having to sand it and end up nicking whatever material you're using. After he got the perimeter done, after he marked it off with the Sharpie, he's going back over with the perimeter of this uh, sealant tape. The sealant tape is a double-sided tape which allows for the vacuum bagging to be attached and so he's leaving the one side on so he can get prepped and ready for everything to be installed and then removing that once it comes time. Here Matt's spreading the thickened polyester resin around the transom perimeter. This is going to be used by the uh, West Systems, it's the notch spreader and he's going to be used in the medium grooved part of that spreader. There's different sizes you could use on that tool, but we're going with the medium. This allows for the air to smoosh itself out. Um, and then also the holes that are drilled into the actual foam will also re release the air too. Here we're using the perforated release bag 125. We are taping in place just to kind of get the perimeter, make sure that we have the right size and because we don't want to peel the tape up because if we need to readjust it, it's easier just to remove the masking tape than it is to separate it from the actual tape that we use for the perimeter. For this N4 breathing material, this is the material going between the two layers of the vacuum bagging. This allows for the air to travel between the two and still hold a nice vacuum. Here Matt is taking the 401C twist lock aluminum vacuum cup. He's going to be taping this in place just to keep it in the same area in the middle. And this is the part that's going to be pulling the vacuum that's going to be attached to the half inch OD poly tubing. Now that you have your perimeter set, you're going to be releasing the top part of the tape off your sealing tape. This is going to allow the bag to contact this and you want to rub this in so it makes a good tight sealed surface. So when you pull that vacuum, you're not going to have any air leaks. Since you put extra material bag inside, you're going to have to make a pleat. The pleats are where the bag is too long, so you're going to have to add additional uh, the, the sticky tape. And this is going to allow you to seal that bag where you have more material, as you can see here. Now you want to make a slit in the vacuum bagging material to access the hole of that twist lock. This is where you're attaching your fittings and this is where you're attaching your half inch OD tubing. Now that you have your perimeter set, all your bag is set in place. You got everything worked into place, pushed down into the, that tape. 
Now you're gonna be attaching your fittings in your half inch poly tubing. This would be going to your pump or your chamber. The chamber is in use for if you're pulling a vacuum and you have liquid that potentially get through, get pulled into the line and it can ruin your pump if it goes directly into your pump. This chamber allows for any liquids or um, material to be pulled into that just so it doesn't ruin your pump. 